In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the phone accessories I have collected. And I know I have a bunch of collections. I like to collect items. I know I shouldn't because now it becomes like just bulk and bulk of storage in my room. And it is not good. So I will be showing you what type of accessories I have gotten throughout. I think throughout actually this m past few months, I have collected these. And then some are from like... Uh, at least a year or two old. So the first one up would be, you know, the normal, normal pop socket. It's a pop socket coming in a little bag. And of course it's school wise, graduate school. As you guys know from my previous videos, I've been mentioning how I like to go to forums of schools and get information on schools because I'm look, I'm probably thinking of going to graduate school after. I'm not fully 100% sure, but it's good to go get information and educate yourself on other schools and what they have to offer. And in that in that same time, they actually give you a lot of stuff. Um, I think it's like their little weapon. So they give you free stuff now so you can like later look at it and be like, Oh, maybe I should check their school out. The next one, I put these two together because um, this one lost its packet. So this game's in playable media and then another school. So these are pop sockets, and if you guys don't know, pop sockets go on the back of your phone. Um, I'm pointing, this is kind of weird because I'm pointing, but I'm using my phone right now. But they go on the back and you use it. Um, I need to find a little display thingy and how it does it. But it's basically, you put it on the back of your phone and it's like a phone grip. And speaking of phone grips, I have this one. It's not a pop socket, but um, it's one of those where you just put on there and then like, see, you make that little noise. It's like a pop socket, but it's already, like, popped out. So that one's pretty cool. Moving on, we got, I got this one as well. It's from UC Davis. And if you could see, it's a, uh, I forgot how she showed me, but your hand, your fingers go in here. And she said, it. oh, see, there you go. So, like, this, you remove this adhesive and put it under the desired place of your phone. And then to use it, you just put your fingers there and while like that. Then when you're not using it, it goes back to this. My fingers look gross. But okay. Uh, moving on. Oh, I got a phone stand. So I don't know what this actually stands for. The little CCIS. I should probably look that up, but I didn't. It's a phone stand. You can pop it open and to use it for your phone. There was this, it's still, most of the things I have are still in its packages because I don't want to risk get, getting them dirty. But this is like a, to connect uh, adapters. So it's like USB cable and then two for your phone. So you, to connect things, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if they work, but I will test them out sooner, soon. And then next for phone accessories, we have well, it's from UC Davis. I'm not promoting none of the schools. I'm just saying the what I got from the booths, what they gave me. And it's Smarty Swipe Screen Cleaner. And it tells you easy to use peel, swipe, stick. And it's like how it works. You could read that right there. And like apparently this, is, this part is the part you use to clean the screen. And then like apparently after you like peel it, wipe, you could stick it and redo all this. Um, for a, I think they said for a few times before it starts losing its stickiness. But then I have another one that says you could wash it if it comes dirty after you clean many screens. Because you could clean all these. Um, I'm pretty sure they're wash. I don't know if this one is, but I know I have another one that's washable. And you could reuse it as many times. Oh, I have two of those UC Davis ones. Uh, okay, moving along. Oh, we got this one. I believe this is the one that says it. So I got the Oregon one. School of Journalism and Communication. This is one of my schools, actually, um, I was, I'm thinking of if I go to graduate school for communication. So, see, peel it, clean it, stick it. Uh, wash with soap and water to clean screen cleaner and renew stickiness. See? Oh, see, you do wash it and it renews the stickiness so it becomes sticky so that's pretty cool and then moving along we have this phone strap phone loops i need to fix this sorry uh phone loops it's from ucla and it basically shows you how to do it 
So you open your case and like it tells you the steps. So this is step one. Through the camera hole, you put it down and then you go down to like where the bottom of your phone is and you swipe up and you like stick it. So you hold it how it's shown in the picture, which is pretty cool. Have not tried it. I will probably try it soon. And then I have this is a actually a glasses cleaner. And if you're like me that wears glasses, it is good to have a lot of them because you never know where you might lose one. Or if the other ones are getting cleaned, you could use a brand new clean one. And then now moving on to the stuff, adhe adhesives, mobile card holders. I know these are getting big now. So this one's actually from UC Merced. It has a mirror on it. So as you can see, there's my phone. And you can see my little sticker, a little tripod, and then... Hey, okay, that was creepy. My chin, you saw my chin. Um, I don't know, can I position it where you can see me? Hey, yeah, you can. So this is, so basically, it's a smart wallet. You put um your card right here where the red is, as demonstrating, and you stick this on the back of your phone. Like so. And like, you carry your credit card ID, hotel card, Things you won't forget if you don't want to carry a wallet or if you want easy access to it. So I think that's pretty cool. And then I got more of them. They're all silicone, actually. That one is silicone with the mirror in it, and this is another one. See, you just peel that back. So I have that one. Then this one isn't silicone. It's um, plastic. And you just peel the that and then this. But it goes... In and then out through here, which is kind of cool because you could enter either or. And then we got another one. Another one. So I have a lot of those, actually. This one I thought was pretty cute because it's an owl. So we got that one. Uh, we got another one. I got two of the Denver ones, actually. I have a lot. I might be doing a giveaway for people to, that want some of these because I have a lot. This one, I liked it because it said sit. Kind of reminded me if I was, like, telling my dog to sit, but my dog doesn't listen. And then this one, NYU. I like the black ones and the colorful ones, but the black ones, I don't know. I like it because, like, most people don't know if... Because my phone on the back is black, and if I have a black one and I decide to put, like, money or something in all the way in, they won't know I have money in there, and it's easy... It's not easily stolen. And then my favorite one out of all of them is this one. Because it has a little... As you could see, Oh, wait. Let me... See? It's open. It's black, I know. But um, you could put a credit card or ID card or driver's license, and you close it so it won't fall. Because I have, like, trust issues with these ones. I don't know if things could fall out of there, and I don't want my... If I were to put my credit card or anything in there, I don't want to lose it, and then people steal my identity or, like, steal my money. And then last but not least I'll be going over would be this silicone thing. So it's like a lanyard. A lanyard. And it's always have their back and it's basically from a uh aware awake alive .org. Look their look them up. It's basically a a page where um where you look out for your friends, like you notice the signs of their dying from alcohol poisoning because there has been deaths of that in the recent years. And it has it combined. You put little cards on the back. And then these little straps, you put your phone in here. So it it'll, it stretches and you put your phone in it and it grabs it. So if you want to carry your phone around your neck, this allows it to do. I actually did it like two years ago. I used this two years ago. And it actually really, I really like it for it. And, like, you always know where your phone is, and you don't have to be like, oh my god, where's my phone, if you don't feel it in the back of your pocket. So, I actually recommend this. I don't know where um I got this from, but I know I got it from a booth, and they were giving these out. And I'm pretty sure now they have a, a patent for it, because this is patent pending. But I'm pretty sure they got it already, and you saw just my nails right now, sorry about that. And then that is about it for phone accessories that I have found so far as I'm cleaning my room. I have found a lot of stuff that have in bulk like these, so I might be doing a giveaway for it because I have no use for more than one or I'll probably keep like four of my favorite ones and then the rest I'll just give out.
even though they have schools, I mean, it's still pretty cool to, like, have something, uh, hold your cards in the back. So, thank you for watching if you made it this far in the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, as well as go feel free to check out my other videos I have on my channel. I'll be posting more frequently because I am in summer vacation, and I have currently no plans, so thank you.